Hey guys, this is Imperfect Faith, and um, I've been getting a lot of messages lately um, about people inquiring about the programs that I use to make my videos and stuff like that. So um, I thought I'd just do a quick um, video, um, try to squeeze all this in as quick as I can. Um, just a brief um, overview of the programs that I use and kind of show you the interfaces of them. Um, so I thought I'd show you Adobe After Effects, um, CS4, Adobe Sound Booth, CS5, and Cinema uh, 4D. Just just kind of a very brief overview of the interfaces and uh, kind of what they look like and some of the things that are pertained in them. But I'm not gonna. Um, this isn't a tutorial. I'm not gonna go in depth on how to composite um, or or put together uh, 3D scenes uh, or anything like that. Um, if it's something that you guys want to see more of, then uh, you know just make sure that you leave me a message down, a comment in the comment section, or send me a message, or anything like that. And if there's enough interest in it, um, I'll do it. I mean, if it's just a, a one-off, um, you know, one or two people that they want to know about it, then I can probably answer the questions in the messages. But um, if not, if it's something a lot of people are, are wanting to learn about and stuff, then then you guys just let me know that, okay? Um, the first one that we'll uh, look at is Adobe After Effects, so I'll just open that up real quick. Um, up here in this highlighted portion is where you're going to see um, your your project, your video, whatever you're compositing. Um, you can resize this. Um, uh, more on that in just a second. Uh, down here is the timeline, so if you're working on something, you can see the timeline of the project. Over here at the bottom left is uh, where your layers are going to go where you do a lot of your compositing um, and uh, and editing and stuff. So just real quick, I'll uh, just make a uh, uh, composition. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. You can put it to whatever size file you want um, and layout and all that good stuff. I usually use uh, HDTV 1080p 24, which is 24 frames per second. Um, here's the width and the height. Um, I usually use square pixels. Then down here you can put the length of the, the file, the, the project that you want to do. We'll just leave it at three minutes for this. I'll hit OK. Um, it's going to pull up here um, as the size. So this is kind of your working space right now. Uh, down here you can see the timeline. It's going to go to three minutes because that's what I set it at. And down here is uh, kind of where your files are going to be. Real quick, I'll pull in a file. Just a picture. Uh, I'll just pull in a picture that I made in Cinema 4D and I will just pull that over onto the comp um, if it's a little big you can resize it to uh, fit in the space um, or if you want something that's exactly the size of the thing you're working on uh, just go to new project don't save it we'll import that same file and you can take that picture and drag it right down here into the composition. Boom. And the whole composition is the same size as uh, as your picture, video, whatever you're working with, timeline. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really do too I'm not gonna do anything to it because that, that would be a whole other tutorial in itself. But that's kind of the area. The the areas. Um, this is where all the stuff you've pulled in, you can organize them into folders. Um, up here we have the file, all that good stuff. Um, the important things that you really want to look at are uh, uh, the effects get all kinds of effects that you can that you can do um, to kind of edit. Um, you know, you got color correction. Um, you can uh, color correction. You can change anything. You can uh, like hit curves. You can lighten it, darken it. You know, do whatever you want with it. But there's a lot of effects that that you can work with in After Effects. Um, here's your layers. If you want to add a new layer, if you want to add a solid. You could make it comp size, put it on there, and see the solid covers it. And there's certain effects and things you can put onto that. But see that adds a layer down here. Okay. Um, here's your. Uh, if you want to add some text, we'll get rid of that layer. If you want to add some text, you hit the text tool. Boom. Say hi. Get a text on there. And down here is where you kind of keyframe everything. And by keyframe means maybe I want to move this high. I'll go down here, go down to the seconds, I'll go down to transform, maybe I want to move it over, so I'll set a keyframe at zero, and I want it to move over in one second, and I want it to move over here. Okay, so that sets a keyframe there, and at the end, and when we play it, and we look at a RAM preview of it, you 
can see that it actually moves over. So, boom. So you kind of keyframe things. That's kind of how you composite and add an After Effects. But there's a there's a lot to it. And if you guys are interested, I'll make more uh, tutorials on it. But that's kind of the uh, the the interface. Um, very briefly, but you guys can pause or whatever and, and, and look more into it. Your effects and presets over here. If you want to track things. Um, there's just a lot of stuff, but too much for me to go into just for a quick introduction video. Okay, so we'll get rid of that one. We'll pull up uh, Adobe Sound Booth. Um, this is basically uh, uh, audio editing software, um, and it's very basic. There's there's other programs out there that, that do a lot more but for me making videos you know this is kind of all I need so there's not too much to say about this one you can pull in uh, uh, a file in here any file that you really want you could pull in let's say pull in my intro um, and you can see the video there and then here's all the sounds um, you can add effects to the sounds, you can manage the sounds, you can increase, decrease, slow down, speed up, um, just to edit your, your audio and then you would just export it and then you could pull it into After Effects or another compositing or editing software and uh, put that in there. But that is very basically how you do it. Um, you can clean up the audio if you have audio that's got some hisses or, or uh, hums in it, you can, cl you can clean that up which is, I really like that part of it which is nice. Um, but you can do a lot of things in it, but that's just kind of the interface, that's kind of how that works. And now in Cinema 4D, um, when you pull it up, this is your interface. Um, it's in 3D, so you, let me just put an object in there, let me just put a cube. Um, if you look around, you can look around this object in 360 degrees. Um, and down here, if you click on the object, you can change the X size, Y size, the Z size and change it in three planes. Um, uh, there's a lot of different things up here to work with. Um, a lot of the stuff is, you know, really complicated. It's too much to go into right now. But I just want to show you guys the the, the general interface that um, you'd be working with if if you got into this. Um, and c just a brief overview. So down here is the timeline. Um, so if you wanted to animate it you could uh, keyframe this timeline um, also if you these are it's in frames so if this is only 90 frames which we're doing 30 frames a second it's only three seconds long so if you wanted to change that to 220 you just extend this boom um, if you wanted to put if you want if you didn't like the color of that and you wanted to change it you could go into new material double click that go into color say you wanted a black boom you want a little bit of reflection on there, 20%, then you just drag that mat onto the object itself. You can add lights, you can you can alter this object, um, you could basically start with a circle and and use your creativity and, and bend it and twist it in anything you wanted and you know, a um, lot of animation in here, um, it's, it's, it's awesome, I mean the, the sky's the limit with this program really. Um, uh, so that's basically kind of what that looks like. I just wanted to show that to you guys. So um, that's basically the brief overview. I don't want to spend too much time make this a really long video because I don't even know if there's any interest in it, but I have been getting a lot of messages um, on those programs, a lot of questions and stuff. So if it's something you guys would like to see more of, just let me know. If you have specific questions, you can leave them in the comment section, stuff like that. Okay, guys. Well, um, God bless you all, and I will uh, talk to you guys soon.